and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Adriana Romano and my channel is all about healthy recipes, budgeting, and vlogging. So if those topics interest you, go ahead and click the subscribe button, click on the bell so you can get notified on all my next videos. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys step-by-step -step how to create a successful meal plan for the week. This not only will save you time, but it'll save you money and it'll take the guessing game out of what am I gonna eat today? So step number one, find a day that you can sit down for about 15 minutes and write down this plan. So my days are on Sundays because I normally grocery shop Monday mornings. So Sunday I sit down, I meal plan for the whole week, and then I have my idea of what I'm gonna be getting on Monday at the grocery store. So stick with me to the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys my weekly meal plan and the way I write everything down. Step number two, consider who will be eating these meals. So if you live with family, with your kids, with a spouse, try to sit down with them and see what they like, what they don't like, any ideas that they wanna be eating that week. Make sure that you guys are always on the same page or at least semi on the same page so you don't have to now create an individual meal for every person. And I know some kids eat a little different than their parents, but try to get some ideas that you guys can be eating almost the same things and maybe making some small little tweaks here and there. So it's very important that you sit down with everyone and make sure you guys all agree on what you're going to be eating that week. Step number three, check your calendars. So this is very, very important because you want to make sure that you see any busy days that you have, if your kids have any activities, any days that you're going to be coming home late, or if you have a birthday party and you're not going to be eating at home, you want to make sure that you're looking at your calendar so you're planning now the meals around there. You don't want to be overbuying or you don't want to be underbuying. So you want to see exactly what you're going to be eating throughout the week. And if you have busy days that you don't want to come home and cook, maybe that morning you can go ahead and throw everything into a crock pot. So when you get home, you have a nice dinner waiting for you. So make sure you look at your calendars and plan around your calendar. Which brings me to step number four. Take inventory of your pantry your fridge and your freezer. So I did a video about this and I shared 10 tips on how to save money on groceries, which I'll put right here so you can check it out. And one of the things I said was make sure you take inventory. So let's be real, we've all gone to the grocery store and came back with a box of pasta because we weren't sure if we had it at home and now we have like 20 pastas in our pantry. So that's why it is super important to make sure that you do inventory so you don't overbuy and also so you can get ideas. So if you have some chicken still that you wanna use for the week that you're planning the meals, you can go on Pinterest. Now you can type in chicken ideas. And now you can get some recipes around what you already have in your own house. Step number five, you wanna leave room for any leftovers. So being realistic, we probably don't always eat everything that we cook. So you'll probably have one or two days that you can eat leftovers. So make sure you add that into your weekly meal plan, which I'll be showing you guys at the end of this video, my weekly meal plan. So stick around so you guys don't miss out on that. So step number six, you want to create a menu. And what I like to do is create a menu that changes weekly because I don't know about you guys, but I get tired of what I'm eating if I'm eating it every single day or every single week. So try to come up with a variety of different things that you know that are simple for you to use check out Pinterest, go online, check out my YouTube channel. I've been posting a lot of recipes on there. So always do your research before and come up with different ideas so you don't get tired of what you are eating. And step number seven, make sure you're writing down all the meals that you're gonna be eating throughout the week and some snacks as well. So your breakfast, your lunch, and dinner. And I made a breakfast video how to make egg muffins and these will last you four to five days. I'll be posting it right here so you can check it out. And it is so simple to meal prep this right before, so then you can just grab and go throughout the week. And once you come up with your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, any snacks, then you can write down your grocery list. So again, I'll show you guys that at the end of the video, but just make sure you write everything down. Step number eight, make double batches sometimes and freeze them. So if you know that the following week after this week, it's gonna be such a hectic week, and you probably know that you're not gonna have that much time to cook, make doubles a week before, freeze them, and then all you have to do is go ahead and take it out of the freezer, pop it into the microwave, or pop it into the oven, and it'll be ready for you. So make sure you double up on anything. If you know that you're having extras and you're probably not gonna be eating it that week, just go ahead and put it in a container and stick it straight into the freezer. Step number nine, 
plan your eating out days as well. So sit down and say, okay, realistically Saturday, we probably will be having lunch out or dinner out or even on Monday or Tuesday or any of those days, make sure you add that in. Unless if you don't like to eat out and you just like to cook at home, that's perfectly fine. But if you know that you're probably gonna be eating out one or two days a week, make sure you go ahead and write that down. So again, you don't overbuy and you use that money to go ahead and buy something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and be turning the camera around so I can show you guys how I meal plan my meals. All right, so here is one of my weekly meal plans and I wrote everything down. So like I said, I normally eat about two meals a day and then eat some snacks. So for example, Monday, I was, I'm gonna be eating eggs and avocado, Tuesday eggs and avocado, and then bread and cream cheese, and cheese tortilla, so that kind of stuff. So I wrote down my breakfast, and then I wrote down what I'm gonna be eating at night. So on Mondays, we had leftovers from the weekend, so I made sure that I didn't overbuy, and we were gonna eat just the leftovers. On Tuesday, I made a crock pot beef stew, because it was my busy day. On Wednesday, I was making some steak, then my leftovers because for the steak i'm definitely buying a good amount that i'll make sure that we can have leftovers for thursday on friday we're gonna have chicken tenders saturday we are actually going out for dinner so i just wrote down my breakfast and then for sunday i wrote down my breakfast and dinner so right here as you can see i created a grocery need so right here i can write down everything that that i need and i included my snacks so normally I've just been having some avocado or, or some turnip or some celery or cheese. So that kind of stuff I write down for my grocery needs. I don't have to write it down for my weekly meal plan. So if you like this sheet, you can go over to my Instagram, Budget with Bay. I'll go ahead and put it at the end of this video. Go ahead and follow me. I'm going to be posting this soon so you guys can print them out. So that is how I make my weekly meal plans. And I do save these because I like to go back sometimes and get ideas from my past meals. I'll see what I like, what was easy to make. My boyfriend and I enjoyed the Coke beef that I make in the oven. Go ahead and check it out. I'll be posting it right here. It is so amazing and we eat it like once a week. So it's fine to get ideas. Just make sure you change it up a little bit so you really commit and stick to this meal plan. And just to add one more thing, I know that life happens and sometimes we're like, oh, I don't want to eat this today or I don't feel like cooking this today, which is fine because now that you created your weekly meal plan, you have all the ingredients and all the recipes. So go ahead and change the days around. So for example, on Wednesday, you're like, oh, I don't want to cook what I have planned for Wednesday. I'm going to go ahead and use what I have planned for Friday. So switch, mix and match, switch it up. Now you have your ingredients, you have all your meals, and now you know that this whole week your groceries will get you through and you don't have to go back to the grocery store. So again, this is saving you so much time and so much money. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the bell so you can get notified on all my next videos. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I'll go ahead and post this at the end of this. Bye guys.